Hey guys, welcome back. This week I've got the TPXD Vito Blackout version in my shop. And I wanted to show you guys what this bag has, as well as compare it, you know, with my TPLC that I've kind of gotten to be a big fan of over the last couple of weeks, month or so, whatever it's been. As well as I have my TP XXL back here so that we can kind of get an idea of size and what you're actually getting with this bag. Because... Sometimes it's a little hard just from pictures on a website. So let's get some realistic comparisons going. We'll throw some tools in this, see what you guys think too. You'll know what will fit this thing when we're done. So I haven't even taken the tags off. This is brand new. I haven't even opened it. I just took it right out of the box this morning. So first of all, just right here on the outside, I'm going to start. Of course, we're going to use a tool that's not made for something. You know, isn't that the right thing you do around here? the Knipex cable shears. We'll clip a zip tie with that. But this bag, what really makes it kind of stand out from others and made me have to give it a try, want to give it a try, had to, you know what I mean, is their new V-Swap panels right here. The V-Swap system that Vito has started putting in some of these where you can actually take panels out. Let's see what panels in here actually do come out. But right here on the outside, you have your normal... Uh, big D-rings and it's got them on both sides so if you like to hang things off of those or you like to put a really big strap on it you totally can but right here you have another little D-ring and then a tape clip which is one of their nice solid tape clips and I one conspicuously missing thing is a lot of leather on these so these are almost all the ripstop and the cordura looking material to me that's the words i would use to describe this material so you just have one little patch that has kind of a leathery feel right here in the front and it's right where that tape goes again they did put two more uh rivets right here but i know these have been a real pain point for people with ripping off so with this on the end if you like to carry a huge tape measure my biggest tip with that would be to get it on the end of the bag you do have a great warranty so if that rips they will replace it or repair it whichever one but it's got a tape clip on both ends that's fastened into this solid material I would use that that's that's what i do anyway it also keeps you from banging the face of your bag into door jams and stuff usually on the front i just have my little stabila level the little mini one and that's all that i put on the front because it's really light it doesn't stick out like a big tape measure you know so anyway you do have the three tape measure slots and your normal spots here on the front where we like to store you know our sharpies and stuff like that right here in the front so on the back you've got a slot that would fit like a normal iPad right here. And to give you a quick idea, you've got, let me get that in there. You've got right at nine inches. The compression fit would, would get you, I believe, to the nine inches right there. It's right on it. So if you have an iPad or something that's nine inches wide or a tablet really of any type, and the depth on that all the way up to the bottom of the flap here is, is right close to 10 and a half inches. So you could you could hook that up a little bit if you had to, instead of down. If you had a taller or a wider laptop or whatever, you can get that in there. So you also have a little strap here on the back where you can hook some stuff if you need to. But let's get into this thing. All right, inside the bag, of course it's gonna come with another one of these enormous Vito straps and I I have a stack of these at this point, I think, because there's only a couple of bags that I actually put these on. And I don't know, I just usually grab them by these carry handles that they come with, and I don't end up actually wanting the enormous handle thing. Now, to throw it on your shoulder, that's fine. If you end up overloading your bag, which, who, what veto owner doesn't? Uh, if you end up overloading this bag, then this, this is the strap for you because this will go on your shoulder, has a nice pad in it, and also it, it doesn't it doesn't really hurt that much. You can go ahead and carry a really heavy bag. My TP XL that you'll see in a minute, I weighed it the other day and it came in right at 41 pounds. So when you do a full loadout on these as a kind of like a primary bag and you're not being easy on yourself at all, they build up some serious weight. But inside here, 
We've got the same big hook right here in the top that'll flip right up, So if you, and it's thin, so if you need to stick it through the side of a condenser or something like that to get your bag hung and working on an AC, it'll do that. That's what it's pretty much for. But inside here, this is neat. Look at this, we have panels in the side. Let's go ahead and slide this up here where you guys can see that, look at that. This right here, first thing I noticed, you got your pocket down the side, but it looks a little different to me. So when you pull, look at this, this comes out. There are magnets inside right there set into it. So this actually magnetizes together when you slide it down in. So if you want this, you can have these extra little four screwdriver slots or little micro drivers, anything that you like to stick in there, but it also has the big pocket. So if you have something like your clamp meter, that would slide right there just nice and easy and you could have that instead of this. But the other side of this bag is pretty much the same way. You have another one of these and it will slide up and out. Same magnetic closing, you can see them right through the back there, the magnets that are in that pops. You can hear that, that's pretty good magnets. They snap pretty solid. So you have these two styles that will go in there. But that's kind of nice, really it is. But the V-Swap, that's not the V-Swap. That's just the little side deals, and I bet you these will fit in some of the other bags too. We'll have to play with that. But maybe the TPXXL could benefit from that. But inside here, you'll notice this entire back panel of this bag. See the little V-Swap tag? We have a little yellow V-Swap tag. This entire back panel, will disconnect. We'll go right down it. Just slide your hand, slide your hand straight down the back of the panel and release all of the Velcro. It has three strips right here. And then you can just take this out. And there are several other options you can get for this, but this one that's coming with it looks very similar to the same layout as we get in even our TPLC, it has the same little stuff up top. This has one extra maybe little pocket here, but very similar setup to what we're used to getting every time we get a Vito bag. But by having this where it'll come out, Vito has several other options that you can put in here to store your tools if you don't need so many compartments here. And for me, honestly, I could do without one or two of these right here, these big ones could be just one big pocket for me. These up here, I kind of need. I really like being able to sit, you know, my my pliers, wrenches, tools like that. The, the handles and stuff just hook really nice like that right there, and then you can see the top of it. But when you do that, it takes up a little bit of this pocket space too, so drivers fit really well, but anymore I pretty well just carry a ratcheting driver. So you can end up kind of slimming down quite a bit. That panel comes right on out, but that's not the only V-Swap panel in here. Check this out. If you look down inside here, you can probably see just a little sign of another yellow tag right there in the front. This front pouch is also a V-Swap. So we can slide our hand down in here, pop it across, and we can take out that front mounted panel. Now, this panel, so you have it in your mind correctly, sits in this bag right here. This is in the front of the bag with these facing to the inside. And then this one is inside the bag in the back facing this one. So you have these sitting in the bag like this. So if you don't want either one of these, if there's just one you want, if you wanna just put a back one in, just put the back one in, then you don't have this cluttering up the front. But it just depends on what you need out of your bag. But for me, I'll probably set this in, and this, by the way, just so you guys get to see this, that Velcro grabs quick. You have a couple of big snaps right here on the top. So you're not just relying on the Velcro. When you slide this all the way in and down, you know that you've lined it up right. You hear those snap in. Then you can just press this whole back end back into place, and now you have your normal Vito bag. But look at how much space you now have here in the front. So if you have big items you want to store down the front, there's so much room, this meter, to give you an idea, this is a this is a Fluke 324 Plus. That'll pretty well go sideways all the way across the front there. So a lot of great space in that bag. Then here on your front, this just unsnaps and you have your normal outside area that they put on almost all of these. This does have 
Velcro that holds this all together if you want to if you want to just collapse it and have a narrower bag But you can see you get a whole bunch more pockets right down here in the front You have two more here and here and a lot of times to just reach over in my LC a lot of times I grab these little Vera bit checks here and they're just like that's a little impactor set they fit pretty well perfectly right into one of those and then a lot of times I'll throw me a, a ratcheting stubby just right between the two. And it gives you a lot of great options right there in the front. You can also stick like a Vera Tool Check Plus right there in the front. Those all fit just fine on these bags. But that's kind of what I like to do with that. But the, the addition of being able to not only take out the one panel, but being able to take out the whole thing, this is kind of neat to me. It, we're really reaching the point where we have a modular tool bag in a lot of ways. And these, these are just cool. What do you say we try this? And let's see what this looks like next to a couple of other bags. I know you guys are probably already running some Vito stuff. So let's get it next to a couple of bags that you may have one of to give you an idea of what the sizing is actually like on this bag. So, this is, to me, almost identical to a TPXL. So, just with the addition of the V-swap the panels, but the sizing seems to be pretty much a TPXL. But here it is with a TPLC, and this is a fully loaded TPLC. So, it is just a little bit bigger, but not a lot. I mean, we're talking, we're talking an inch on the top. When you put them back to back, you'll be able to see here, you've got probably an extra couple couple inches or more, almost my entire finger length right there, more on the side. And it's just, it's a bigger bag. So to me, this, this is a lot more comparable to your TPXL, just with more options available to you. So we throw it up here next to the ridiculous bag. Here comes ridiculous. Yeah, that's what 40 pounds will do to you. So I pulled this one out of here, but on the TP double XL, you actually get all your meter pockets here on the side. So you end up with this very wide bag. I mean, this bag goes all the way from here to here. This bag is just dramatically smaller than the TP double XL. It's kind of like when I first got the TP double XL and I went, there's no comparison to the TPXL sizes, or in this case, the TPXD. But this bag, to me, is more of a, you like this flip top style of bag, but you'd like to carry the amount of tools that you carry in like a Tech MCT. You pretty much can get it in here. Now this is kind of a mess. This is straight off the truck. I haven't done anything to it to neaten it up, but I just grabbed this off to kind of compare for you guys. But that's my TP double XL right there. And it carries everything. It's just a monster of a bag though. Look at how thick that is. And like I said, 41 pounds fully loaded with it on my scale. So yeah, that's when I might actually break out the shoulder strap, am I right? But for me, lately, I've got the TP double XL, and what I did was I pulled the the uh, Tech MCT off my truck, and I loaded out the real necessities of it into the double XL, along with what I wanted in it from the TP XL, and kind of created a combo bag between the two that has made it where that bag. The double XL, it'll come in on larger jobs or if I'm there all day long, but if I'm just running in to hit a quick job, I'm either going to be with this or my little Vera to go bag. So a lot of times this has got literally everything I need. I've got a nice little loadout on this. There'll be links down there to the other videos of the loadout of this, the loadout of the TP double XL if you want to see those. There will be a loadout of this one coming, but... I'm looking forward to seeing what I can set this up with because I have so many purpose-built bags that having one that's completely modular just seems fantastic to me. But hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're looking at a TPXD and you have a specific question about it, I literally enjoy just responding to comments. I'm happy to measure things for you, whatever I could do to help. I, I really love seeing people enjoy their tools, their bags, everything, and their work as much as I do. But thank you guys for being here. We'll see you on the next video.